Welcome to the travel guide for Clearwater Beach, Florida, where relaxing days in the sun turn into nights full of fun, and meals come with a side of breathtaking gulf views. In this video, we'll show you how to make the absolute most of your time in Clearwater Beach. From breakfast to dinner, drinks to dessert, the pier, beaches, and boats, this travel guide has it all. And be sure to stick around to the end, where we cap it all off with an out-of-this-world dinner cruise experience on the Yacht Starship. Just a couple blocks off the beach at 432 Poinsettia Avenue is where you'll find Ryan's Island Cafe. Inside this highly rated breakfast and lunch spot, you'll find friendly staff, plenty of seating, and lots of island vibes. You'll also find outdoor seating at Ryan's, which is where we chose to dine on this beautiful January morning. So here at Ryan's, they have a homemade Bloody Mary mix, and it comes with crispy bacon, so of course, Skylar had to try it. It is a good looking Bloody Mary. Not far behind the Bloody Mary came our breakfast order, which included raised croissant and the traditional Eggs Benedict. We both found the Eggs Benedict to be perfectly gooey and delicious. Good Benedict? Mm -hmm. Time to try the raised croissant. Good as it looks. Mm hmm Yeah, so the feta cheese is actually stuffed inside the egg there. Ryan's is open from 7.30 to 3 o'clock daily. And if you don't feel like leaving the house but still want some amazing food, Ryan's offers free delivery to anywhere on Clearwater Beach. Now there are a ton of good options for breakfast out here on Clearwater Beach, but we would recommend starting your day off at Ryan's Island Cafe, not only because their food is delicious, but also their service is excellent. But if you don't want to take our word for it, go ahead and check out their online reviews to see for yourself. Now that you've had breakfast, you probably want to check out the beach, and thankfully it's only a couple blocks away. If you're enjoying this video so far and want to see more Clearwater Beach content or some of the Tampa Bay area's other amazing beach towns, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on. But for now, we're going to show you the number one thing that brings so many vacationers to Clearwater Beach each year. And that is, of course, the beach itself. It's a partly sunny 75 degree Sunday here in Clearwater Beach and you may be wondering why the beach isn't busier than it is and the reason is because it's incredibly windy today but we got a video to make so we're going to show you more of the beach anyway. Due to the strong winds and choppy waves, the clear turquoise waters that many expect to see on Clearwater Beach were nowhere to be found on this day. But just because the weather isn't perfect, doesn't mean you can't still enjoy some time on the beach. And one of our favorite ways to do exactly that is with a drink at Tommy's Tiki. Now next to Pier 60 is one of our favorite tiki bars. You just have to follow this cute little path to get there. Now if you do visit Tommy's, we would recommend showing up right at 11 when it opens because as you might expect for the only tiki bar right on the beach, it does fill up fast. And if you show up at Tommy's at 11 on the dot, you just might briefly have this bar all to yourself. And while the number of seats at the bar itself are limited, Tommy's offers a large amount of shaded seating just a few steps away in the soft white sand. Now Tommy's Tiki is the perfect spot to grab a beer or a cocktail and have your feet in the sand. And it's also a good spot for families because it offers a food menu and also mocktails like this pina colada I have today. So other than Tommy's, we're only going to be visiting one other beach bar in this video. But Clearwater Beach does have several others to offer. And if you want to see all of them, then go ahead and check out our Clearwater Beach bar crawl video after this one. We'll be showing you a different section of beach a little later in this video, but for now, we're going to show you the most popular Clearwater Beach attraction other than the beach itself. And that spot is Pier 60, located just a short walk away from Tommy's Tiki. If you visit the pier on a slow beach day like we did, you'll likely find plenty of space to move around. But on a warm, sunny weekend, it will probably look a little more like this. And while it can be fun to browse through all the stands on a busy pier, we often prefer the more peaceful days like this when the birds outnumber the tourists. While there is no fishing allowed on the east end of the pier, you can pay a buck at the Pier 60 shop to access the pier's west end where fishing is permitted.
Not only does the west end of the pier offer a great spot for fishing, but also some beautiful views of the beach. It's here that you'll also find some friendly seabirds patiently awaiting a free meal. Now the pier is generally pretty busy, but only a fraction of the people who visit the pier actually pay the extra dollar to go all the way to the end. So if you're visiting and you think it's a little too crowded for you, then it's definitely worth paying that extra buck. As you make your way through the gate and back towards land, you'll find a beach that usually looks more like this than this. Here you'll also find a bunch of inflatable kids rides, which are actually quite popular when there aren't high wind gusts. It's here near the entrance of the pier that you'll also find a variety of street performers, which tend to draw a good crowd, especially on the weekends. Just across Coronado Drive from Pier 60 is where you'll want to head for some adventure on the water. And one of the many boat tour options you'll find here is Captain Nemo's Pirate Cruise, where you'll find unlimited beers and a beautiful Gulf sunset. But on this day in Clearwater Beach, we were looking for something a little bit faster. And if you're looking for the same, the Sea Screamer may be the tour for you, as the 72 foot long speedboat will take you to speeds of up to 35 miles per hour. If you're like me and forget to pack your raincoat, you may want to sit at the front of the boat where you're much more likely to stay dry. Arms and elbows inside, folks. Arms and elbows inside the boat. Everybody up forward. We're going to blow the navigational horn four times. It's kind of loud. You might want to cover your ears. Here comes the horn. Our one hour tour on the Sea Screamer departed at two in the afternoon, which was the third of four tours offered each day. The tour actually started out quite relaxing as we slowly made our way southwards and under the Sand Key Bridge in search of dolphins. And one great thing about this tour is that they do guarantee a dolphin sighting or your next tour is free. We were happy to find that the Sea Screamer does offer restroom facilities and allows passengers to move about freely on the boat. Although on a day like today, when the waters were choppy and the winds were high, you did have to watch your step. Overall though, we were quite impressed with how smooth the ride was on the Sea Screamer, despite the high winds and rough waters. But because the waters were much rougher in the Gulf on this day, our tour would have to stick to Clearwater Bay. And while we never made it out into the Gulf on our trip, the captain still found plenty of open water to pick up the speed. After a close encounter with some surprisingly friendly pirates, we began making our way back towards the marina, and the captain sure didn't take his time getting us there. While riding at the back of the boat is quite a bit more exciting than at the front, we can confirm that you will get wet once the boat begins to pick up speed. So if you prefer to stay dry on your Sea Screamer tour, be sure to stick to the front of the boat when it's moving fast. Overall, we found our tour on the Sea Screamer to be a lot of fun and a much different experience than your typical dolphin cruise. If you want to book your own Sea Screamer tour during your trip to Clearwater Beach, be sure to visit SeaScreamer.com. There are many boat tour options in Clearwater Beach, but we chose the Sea Screamer because it's not only a dolphin tour, but also a really fun powerboat experience. And while we did have to stick to the intercoastal today, we did see some dolphins, even though we weren't quick enough to catch them on camera. Now we do know that these large tours are not for everyone. So if you're someone who is looking for a less touristy and more customizable experience, and you have a little bit bigger of a budget, we would recommend checking out our island hopping episode after this one. After an active day in Clearwater Beach, you'll likely be ready to eat. And lucky for you, there's a great spot just a short walk from the docks and Pier 60. Here at 45 Causeway Boulevard, you'll find the Bait House Tackle and Tavern. The Bait House has been open since the 1940s and offers a ton of old Florida charm, in addition to some great local beers, wines, and a menu specializing in locally caught seafood. And if you're like us and prefer dining on the water whenever possible, the Bait House patio offers waterfront seating in the company of some friendly pelicans. During our late afternoon visit, we were quickly seated and couldn't wait to order some seafood. On this visit, we opted for the fresh catch Reuben and drunken shrimp, plus a delicious local beer from Marker 48 out of Spring Hill, Florida. After what seemed like almost no wait at all, our order arrived looking absolutely amazing. We first tried our fresh catch Reuben, 
which included a huge piece of wahoo, a mild and delicious fish. And while this may have been the best fish Reuben that we've ever had, it wasn't even our favorite dish of the meal, as that honor went to the drunken shrimp, which was nothing short of phenomenal. The bait house is open from 11.30 to 9, Tuesday through Sunday. Is he gonna make it? Better run! Ate too much to run. <laughs> Not only is the bait house an actual bait house, but it is also the spot to get seafood in Clearwater Beach. So if you're interested in fresh catch fish, the best drunken shrimp that you'll ever have, or a really cool old Florida vibe, you won't want to skip the bait house. While Clearwater Beach surely has some of the best seafood spots in the Tampa Bay area, it also has some of its best spots for desserts. And one of those spots is where we're taking you next. Located around a quarter mile north of Pier 60 in the Pelican Walk Plaza, you'll find your go-to spot for cookies and ice cream at the Mint Fox. Visitors to the Mint Fox will immediately be greeted with the smell of freshly baked cookies, but if ice cream happens to be your dessert of choice, they sure have plenty of that to choose from too. And if you're like me and love deep dish cookies and ice cream equally, then a cookie sundae is definitely the right choice for you. Our cookie sundae included a white chocolate macadamia deep dish cookie topped with cookie dough ice cream, whipped cream, and butterscotch. And while it probably goes without saying, it was delightful. The Mint Box is known for its deep dish cookies and its creamy Wisconsin ice cream. The best part about it is though that you don't have to choose between the two because you can get a cookie sundae. So if you have a sweet tooth, you'll definitely want to stop into the Mint Box. After a fantastic dinner and dessert, it was almost time to check out some local nightlife, but not before catching a sunset on the beach. Perhaps the best part about a visit to Clearwater Beach is that you can end almost every day with a view like this one. And while the weather on the first day of this tour was far from perfect, we couldn't have asked for a much better way to cap off the day. Even though the gulf was just a chilly 63 degrees, we couldn't pass on watching the sunset with our feet in the water before making our way onto our final stop of the evening. We arrived at Shepherd's Beach Resort just after dusk, and although the sun had already set, the colors in the sky were only getting more vivid. Do you have plans to visit Clearwater Beach? If so, let us know when and what you're most excited about in the comments. While the drinks are great, the thing we love most about Shepherds has to be the music, as they have great bands performing daily on perhaps the best stage in the entire Tampa Bay area. So if you're a fan of beachside drinks, live music, or dancing the night away, then we can't think of a better way for you to end your day in Clearwater Beach. Welcome back to day two of the Clearwater Beach Travel Guide. Now, thankfully, it is sunny and significantly less windy than it was on day one. And as a result, the beach is already starting to fill up. Today, we are starting off at a can't miss spot right here on Clearwater Beach. Now, because it's so popular, it fills up fast. So we're gonna get there right when it opens at 11. Our day two lunch destination takes us to 7 Rockaway Street, just steps from the Gulf. Here you'll find Frenchie's Rockaway Grill, an iconic beachfront seafood spot. While this may be just one of four Frenchie's restaurants in Clearwater Beach, Frenchie's Rockaway is the most popular due to it being the largest of the four and its location right on the beach. Even though we arrived at Frenchie's just after opening, we found the majority of the outdoor seating to already be occupied. I'm so glad we got here when we did because by 11.05, <coughs> all of the tables in the sand were already full. After a quick look over the Frenchies menu, we decided to order the famous original grouper sandwich and the seafood pot pie. The grouper sandwich is probably the most popular menu item at Frenchies and for good reason as it always tastes great. But this was the first time we tried the seafood pot pie, which came recommended by our waitress and sure didn't disappoint. And while an iconic restaurant with a location like Frenchies Rockaway could easily charge an arm and a leg, one of the things we love most about this spot is that their prices are actually quite reasonable.
Frenchies is known for their fresh seafood, specifically their local grouper. So we had to get one of their famous grouper sandwiches as well as their pot pie. As delicious as that food was, I think our favorite thing about this location is being able to eat right on the beach with our feet in the sand. Now, because today ended up being such a beautiful day, we're gonna go and show you more of the beach right now. Out on the beach near Frenchies Rockaway, you can find a variety of rentals, including kayaks and paddle boards, banana boats, jet skis, and of course, chairs and umbrellas. And while several chairs were available when we took this footage around 10.30 a.m., all of them were rented by the time we left Frenchies around noon. The beach is so much busier today than it was on day one. With a temperature in the upper 70s on this January day, it was perfect weather for a walk on the beach. So Frenchies is located on what's known as North Beach, which is where you'll find the northernmost public beach parking lot. But if it is a busy beach day like today and you're looking for a little more room to spread out, you can keep walking further to the north towards the more residential area like you see behind me. And if you're looking for the ultimate secluded beach experience in the Tampa Bay area, you can keep walking even further to the north until you hit Caladesi Island. And if you're interested in that experience, we will include a link to that episode in the video description. Would you enjoy the more busy and active sections of the beach located to the south of Frenchies? Or would you prefer the less active area that you'll find a little further to the north? Let us know in the comments. Our second day two destination takes you just a couple blocks south of Frenchies Rockaway to the residences at Sand Pearl. Upon entering Havana Exclusive Cigars, you'll find a unique atmosphere, including authentic Cuban decor and popular Cuban games like dominoes and chess. And even though neither of us are very good at chess or know much of anything about smoking cigars, this is still one of our favorite spots on Clearwater Beach. Those of you who follow our channel know that we typically like to start our days with a cup of coffee. But for this episode, we had to wait a little bit later in the day because our favorite place to grab a cup of coffee is actually a cigar bar that doesn't open until 11. So for those of you who enjoy a strong cup of coffee, we would recommend stopping in and trying a Cafe Con Leche. After an afternoon pick-me-up, you may be ready for some good drinks on the water, which leads us to our next stop, just another short walk to the south. It's here at 25 Causeway Boulevard within the marina shops that you'll find the elevator to a rooftop bar that you sure won't want to miss. Unlike most of our stops in this video, this was our first time visiting Bar Tiki. But given our love of tiki bars and the bar's excellent reviews, we had a feeling this may be one of our new favorite spots in Clearwater Beach. As we're sure you can already tell, the atmosphere at this rooftop tiki bar is pretty impressive as it offers views of Clearwater Beach in almost every direction, as well as a few great photo opportunities. At the far north end of the rooftop, we were able to spot the yacht which we'd be boarding for our sunset cruise just an hour or so later. While all along the south end of the rooftop, we found comfortable seating and some great waterfront views. As easy as it would be to go on and on about the wonderful rooftop views and atmosphere, we were beginning to get hot and thirsty, so it was finally time to hit the bar. We were happy to find Bartiki's drink menu to include Skylar's favorite, a proper painkiller, in addition to a variety of other tiki classics. We also found a few tropical concoctions that we'd never heard of, but would love to come back to try. After a couple of minutes spent eagerly awaiting our drink order, our painkiller and blackberry mule mocktail arrived. We made our way to one of the many comfortable couches to enjoy our tropical drinks with some waterfront views. Skylar found his painkiller to taste exactly as a proper painkiller should, while my blackberry mule mocktail was sweet and perfectly refreshing on a warm day. Since we'd soon be boarding a yacht with an open bar, we had planned these to be our only two drinks at Bar Tiki, but then Skylar spotted a deal that he just couldn't pass up. 
While we both thought a shot consisting of tequila, watermelon, and hot sauce to seem pretty strange, Skylar swears that it was amazing. And if you're less of a tropical drink fan and more into beers, we found that Bar Tiki has some great local craft beer options as well. So all of you regular viewers out there know that we love tiki bars and Bar Tiki did not disappoint. Not only did they actually have a true painkiller, but they also had some really good local craft beers. Now we would have loved to try a few more of their drinks, but we have a sunset cruise to hop on with an open bar, so we'll have to come back to Bar Tiki another day. Just a couple blocks east of Bar Tiki is where you'll find our final Clearwater Beach destination, the Yacht Starship. We checked in at the yacht about 90 minutes before sunset, and after a quick bag check, we made our way to the entrance of the ship. Here the staff took our photo to commemorate this wonderful sunset cruise experience. We boarded the yacht and were shown to our table where an amazing and attentive staff would be serving us. Before we could even look at the drink menu, we were served this delicious Cristini appetizer, which included toasted bread, topped with ricotta cheese, olive, and tomato. Next came the drinks, which included a Starship punch for Skylar and a pineapple juice for me. And since we knew the buffet would be open for another hour, we decided to spend a little time chatting with the staff and exploring the yacht. And since almost all of the other guests were inside eating, it was the perfect time to do it. We're taking off right now! As we slowly began making our way out of the marina, we decided to head up to the top deck for the best sail away views. Well, the pirate ship is going out again. As we sail out of the marina and into Clearwater Bay, we want to say thank you to the folks at the Yacht Starship for providing us with this complimentary sunset cruise experience. We'll tell you more about how you can book your own tour on this yacht a bit later, but first, we're gonna show you the food. Guests who booked the dinner cruise will find a buffet, which during our cruise featured a soup of the day, cranberry apple pecan salad, a vegetable medley, roasted red bliss potatoes, glazed chicken, roasted beef, and herb-crusted stuffed salmon. And since literally everything looked amazing, we decided we might as well try it all. While I did enjoy everything, my favorites were the vegetable medley and the herb-crusted stuffed salmon, while Skylar's were the roast beef and the soup of the day, which also included beef. Last but not least came the desserts, and while Skylar decided to use his stomach space for another trip to the buffet, I just couldn't pass on a piece of strawberry cake. As we finished up our dinner, we noticed that the dining room had cleared and the sun was about to set. So we quickly grabbed another drink and made our way out to the deck. It was at this time that we realized we'd picked the perfect day to book this cruise as the waters were calm and the sky was mostly clear, leaving no doubt that a gorgeous sunset was on the way. Because the waters were nice and calm on this day, the ride was smooth and just right for a little dancing. The smooth waters also allowed us to navigate out into the gulf, where we sailed right by the Clearwater Beach Pier. As we show you a bit more of this beautiful sunset, we're going to share some more information about the Yacht Starship and how you can book your own sunset cruise experience. The Yacht Starship consists of a fleet of four yachts, including the Yacht Starship 4, which we sailed on during this cruise. The Starship 4 is a 130-foot, three-deck yacht, which can accommodate up to 150 passengers. As of February 2023, guests can book a two-hour sunset cruise out of Clearwater Beach six days a week. The cruise can be purchased with or without the dinner buffet. Certain add-ons can also be purchased, including guaranteed window seating, premium bar upgrade, and a celebration package. And if you prefer to be home before dark, the Yacht Starship also offers a two-hour brunch cruise at noon on most Sundays and may be the perfect cruise for you. We should also mention that dancing is encouraged both on the dance floor and on the deck. If you happen to live in or are vacationing towards the east side of Tampa Bay, Yacht Starship offers cruises out of the Channel Side District of Tampa as well. For more information on sailing dates and times, ticket prices, menus, and more, visit YachtStarship.com. And if you want to see all sorts of other amazing things to do in Clearwater Beach's neighboring beach towns, go ahead and click on this playlist next. Thanks for watching!